Well, well, well. Welcome. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, today we're going to have a fun science lesson. I guess tomorrow I'll be doing the reading. Like, I'm in my office now, and uh, it's changed, you know, from tying up all these flies for fishing I hope to be doing. And then I'm, this afternoon I'm going to try to make a paper airplane, and I'm going to, you know, make it fly. It's got a motor. Because the things you find when you clean up. So, uh, that's it. So today, you're all in here now. I got stuff around. Another thing you probably should be doing like I am. I'm uh, getting all my seeds already. I'm starting to plant them and germinate them indoors. Because I'm going to fill my yard full of sunflowers. Because this is the year I think we all need to see sunflowers. I like to put some out front, but I have things called deer that eat them. They're... They're nasty, but they. So if I put my sunflowers out in the front, where I would like that big tall, these are these are huge. These ones, these ones go to 3.7 meters. Like I could take that and then go grocery shopping and make sure people are that far away. But that'll be a long time because they have to grow. So today we're going to do. Now that you're all here, all threes of you. There's threes of you probably watching today. Um, we're gonna do invisible ink. Invisible ink messages that you can't see. I've got one right here. See, see the black arrows? They're pointing right at my message. Can you see it? No, you can't. No. So there's various things you can do. And actually, a lot of it has the stuff from all the other experiments that we were doing. And uh, so we're going to do the first one, which I have right here. It's on the back side of my fingerprint lesson because I don't want to waste paper. Because I'm cheap. So I've put a message on here. You can't see it. So what you need is white paper. Don't don't use line paper because then you can see it. And you need a white crayon. And nobody uses white crayons. They're stupid. Like, why is there a white crayon in there anyway? There's all those other lovely colors. You don't see rainbows have Roy G. Bua. You know, it doesn't have a W in it. It's Roy G. Biv. It has, those are the colors. So white. What do you color with white? Well, I don't have crayons anymore. Because I don't have any kids in this house. So, you take a white crayon, or if you're like me and don't have a white crayon, take a candle and draw a message on there. Write something. You will not be able to see it. Now, how to see it is you get uh, watercolor paint. Now, you've got to have them, your kids. Your kids you've got watercolor paint all over the place that, again, you can't use. And I don't have any. So what you do is you take your watercolor paint and you paint over this whole thing. Water does not stick to wax because crayons have wax. They do not adhere to it. It's a whole new science lesson that we're going to be doing. So it doesn't, so you paint over it and it's gonna show up. So I'm gonna try to make it appear by just maybe using my pencil here. Here, we'll go like this. Yeah. So you take my pencil and see if I can get, and the pencil's not attracting to it, so my, my horrible thing I tried to make here was a heart. You didn't see it before. Probably another thing I could make it to probably appear is the other type. Now, we've done lessons with our good friend, the purple cabbage stink material. If you don't know what the purple cabbage stink material is, go on YouTube and find the lesson. That was where we took the purple cabbage and you're gonna need lemon juice. Uh, lime juice will work. Um, you can even, from the other day, if you were doing the uh, uh, cornstarch, cornstarch and you can make a little liquid and you can draw with it and then you have to make it be seen by using iodine because then it'll turn black, it'll be a chemical reaction. So remember we had the lemon and we had the purple, the purple cabbage. Yep, yep, we had that. Mm -hmm. And then we, we made different colors because it was an indicator. This was the cabbage patch, the cabbage patch. Yeah, there was a cabbage patch indicator. We took this little weird looking baby and we threw it down, that's what we did. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a Q-tip don't put those in your ear. 
that's what it says on the box, but I don't know what anybody would use, it's, I guess, cleaning inside of our glasses. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a piece of paper like this. You're gonna dip it in to the good old, and then you can write a message. Make a message, write a message with lemon juice. Now, it's going to make your paper all wrinkly, so you gotta let it dry. I did these ones beforehand. Now there's two ways we can make this appear. One way is our cabbage juice, purple cabbage juice. You can put your purple cabbage juice and you put it in a spray bottle. I don't have a spray bottle, but you can put it in a spray bottle and spray it all over it, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna paint this back on. I'm gonna go like this and hopefully we're going to have an indicator show me what I wrote here. So I go like this, and it's starting to appear, and I see an OU, and I maybe go up here, and suddenly this stuff is appearing. Ah, uh, look at that. Aw. Uh, Aw. Uh, I love you if I went and did it all. Yeah, that's one way. Here in my television uh, office here, I have these big lights that are, I can use the heat from the lights. Now I have the old light bulbs because those are the ones that bought off the heat. And I can use that or I can use real fire, but I can go like this. Notice I'm not getting illuminated over here because I'm putting this message and I'm going to heat it up. Or, yes, we can do this one. Fire. This works so much better when I'm indoors. All right. So, what I can do is I have to figure out which side my message is on. And I can just heat it up. Now, I don't want to stick it down there and burn it. Maybe you can get an adult to do this for you. But you can heat it up after you've done your message. And, uh, okay, we can sit there and wait. Do, 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 do. So I'm heating up. What's it, what it's going to do is it's going to make your lemon have a little reaction and turn darker. And you can end up having a message showing up. So I'll get it right down here so I can really see if you, you don't start a fire. Okay, so, or I can use something like this, my big stage lights, they're nice and hot. And I can heat up. If I heat this up, I can end up having my message being shown. So I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna heat this guy up. Ooh, look what happens in, when you don't have lights on you. I'm being lit up by a candle. Ooh, scary kids, scary kids. Um, okay, so. If you do that, and I have one I tried out earlier, it will come through, and you see, I didn't start anything on fire. I think you can even iron this. You can take this and iron it. So this one was a nice little, little sunflower I made, okay? So, you do this, you can heat it up. Don't start any fires in the house. Maybe have the adult do this part. Okay, so there's that. And I said I was going to read a story for you. But uh, hey, we'll do the story tomorrow because it's a story that involves invisible ink. Yes, yes, in many colors. So this is going to be one of the books tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a reading day. Um, there you got some science. Um... And then I, I think somebody is dropping off some uh, yeast for me because I needed the yeast so I can make some elephant toothpaste. Um, so we're looking forward to that maybe on Wednesday. But um, hey, have some fun. Make some invisible stuff. And, 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 you know, and then put them up in the window for all of us walking our dogs. Rocky and I like to see that when we walk by all the little hearts. Okay, so uh, you, 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 you take care. Bye-bye.